was sick and died. Whom, when they had washed, they had laid her in an upper chamber. And for as long as Peter was denied to jump up, and disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him to them, desiring him that he would not be there to come to them. Then Peter arose and went to them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber. And all the widows stood by him, weeping, and showing the clothes and garments which God that day while she was with them. Verse 40. But Peter put them all up and kneeled down and prayed, and turning to him to the body, and turning him to the body, he said, Now Peter, arise. She opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. And when he gave his hand and lifted her up, and when he had called the saints and widows, presented her and life. That's the word of the Lord. The exit from here is an entrance to a glorious room. That is why we rejoice. So can you join me to rejoice now? Hallelujah! Can we put our hands together for Jesus? The departure of a saint is not a lot, it's a gain. Because for us to live is Christ, and for us to die. So when a believer, when a lover of Jesus dies, he goes home, he goes to sleep, he goes to rest. And that is why we are celebrating, that is why we are rejoicing. So I'd like all of us to be in that mood of rejoicing. Hallelujah. But then, as we celebrate, I think we should take some time out to reflect on our lives. We should also take the time to reflect on where we are going after now. Because one thing that is certain in the midst of several certainties is the fact that one day, we all will lie down like this. In a home where no one goes with you. On top that you don't even pay your job, no more for them to be a baby. See, you know, you are not here, you can't be a baby. So it's important for us to take some time out to reflect on our lives. And that is why I'll be speaking of what I'm trying to do on the other side of the river. Let us pray together. Is that how we ask that to speak to our hearts this day? Some believe that when we, when we get to heaven, that our Father God appreciates this sin. Some believe that when God trusts me to heaven, I will jump to the other side of hate. I will jump to the other side of hate. There are all kinds of teachings, all kinds of thoughts. But in the midst of this, the Bible does not leave us in the dark as to the scriptural perspective to what happens on the other side of the river. Opolopo Eronoa, Opolopo Eronoa, Nipa Kiriyosho Abana, Shuma Oronoa, Nipa Stigo Oku, Nipa Kiriyosho Abana, Nipa Zaba, Kuro Nipi. And that's what I share it together. Very clearly, number one, that there is death waiting for every one of us. Because the Bible says she was a doer of good works. You know, the Bible says in the aspect of age, how Jesus of Nazareth was anointed with Holy Ghost and power, and he went about doing. And this woman replicated the life of Jesus was a disciple. I would have expected death to spare such a fellow. I would have expected death to say, oh no, Douglas, you shouldn't die. But scripture says that was not the case. One morning, death came. One morning, my royal son, death came nothing, and death took the grass away. Everyone.
the last time and this reminds us of the fact that someday they will give us the same they will tell us farewell for the last time where would you open your eyes on the other side of eternity that is what we all should be asking ourselves no matter how long you live on the surface of the earth you have not lived for a day in the sight of the Lord. So let us all take an account of our lives and adjust where we live. Let us adjust our lives and reverently commit that which is mortal to the grave. We therefore send that each and reverently for me that which is mortal. Ashes to ashes. Dust 